Hello watch fans! Berthier Watches here and this time for you we have a circa 1965 Jules Jurgensen men's 14 karat watch. Now it's 14 karat white gold which is quite unusual but we'll get onto that in a second. Uh, this company have roots going back to 1740 making them one of the world's oldest watchmakers but they did they have gone through various different changes so it's not continuous watchmakers like for example Blancpain or uh, Vacheron Constantin the other ones from the 18th century you may know so they, they did have breaks up until about 1957 they made their own watches and then like this one it was made under license and they're back in Danish hands now and they're producing some quite wonderful watches but quite wonderful watches out of reach for almost everybody. This is more affordable, but you still get a thin dress watch from the mid 60s. We can date it through the movement, which is a Pursue movement, a 330. That always gives a nice slim case. And really the next step up in quality from this would be a Piaget or a Vacheron, uh, just to give you that extra in-house movement but this is a fraction of the price. Being 14 karat gold, it will be intended for the US market. That way the hallmarks aren't dateable like it would be if it was a UK market. But if it was a UK market, it would have been 9 karat gold by all chances. Very clean dial, nice little details on the hour markers that bend the light nicely. Almost like bow ties, but with a slip. I mean, just nice. Good, strong hands. Clean dial, clean case, stamp JJ there, your Jurgensen. The strap and buckle are uh, not original, and this, the buckle is steel, it's got the extra strength. Uniblock case, so the movement comes out from the front, we've got the photos on the website, and it's not a watch you're going to see every day. And that's the ones we always like. This is available now at berthierwatches.com and you'll find the link in the comments below. Thanks for watching.